Number 17 of The Waiting on God, held at the Omni Netherland Plaza, Cincinnati, Ohio, August 11th through 13, 1990. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the uh, afternoon session will be the Lord helping us at 2 o'clock. This is next to the last session, and we are trusting. We'll listen to the ushers. Uh, we will try to find the people that haven't been able to get in here. We may have to come to the place where we just let the people get here first, have first seats. We have to do that. So some people have felt that, of course, uh, see all the dear ones here has helped me through the years. It helps me a lot. Many people come and they don't understand why they are out there and they can't get in here. And uh, so I said, well, all the people up close here are willing just to go out and let them have their seats. And so um, we're trusting uh, today uh, for uh, God's guidance. It's a great uh, assignment for me. <clears throat> As we uh, talk, we talk softly, and uh, we pray for deliverance, protection, traveling home in the next day. So by air or by foot or by car, vehicle. Uh, for souls that have not yet been saved, that should have been saved, that could be saved if they were willing for the body of believers to be willing to submit, to get all the hardness of heart, all the uncleanness out of us, uh, so that Jesus might have the full reign. God could have all the preeminence, the Holy Spirit reigning within. We're trusting for that. Even as you go to the dining time, or resting time, or praying time, when we are dismissed, lift the hymn books and gently place them on the seat. Take care of all unfinished business in the heart so that all will be well. Keep praying for God's kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. If the Holy Ghost will have his way with each of our hearts. Pray for our deliverance constantly. And for all those saints everywhere praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit there and too with all perseverance for all saints. The orphans and the widows and the hungry and the forsaken, the forgotten and the lonely ones those in lands where they can't do as they want to do for Jesus, in distress and perplexities. Uh, ask Jesus in his word, what would you have me to have in your word, and what would you will for me to do in witnessing and caring to bring in the lost? While well, yet there is time. For Jesus is coming soon. We don't know the day of his coming, but we must be ready. Any announcements now? If you please. <clears throat> Reverend Helm, thank you for obeying God this morning for the wonderful orchestration of the Holy Spirit to our hearts and souls. We marvel at this work of God. Pastor... Greg McBride has uh, requested that all of Louisville Quiet Christ Fellowship remain in your seats uh, after the ushers show the rest of the congregation out uh, for a meeting, please. And uh, we'll wait. It showed me that there was some hardness in my heart. And he also said to me, uh, Dale Bittinger, you've had two heart bypass surgeries and you've trusted your heart into the hands of a physician, now I want you to put your spiritual heart a little more in the hands of the great physician. And 
he also said to me that I was to come to the altar, even though I had committed that hardness to him. And so I did that, and he, he impressed upon me that I was to give this witness. And Brother Wonderful. Hale, Dale, oh, yes. I just saw you. Yes. Well, that fun. great time we had in Kingsport together yes, it is. Uh, 30 years ago. That's right. Oh, it's a tremendous thing. That's right. Oh, what a day. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for that testimony. As a pastor, I'd like to tell you about that great meeting Jesus gave us. That's when I didn't have any voice and couldn't speak. Couldn't talk. I had to get up. He had a big voice. I went all the way. I couldn't talk. I had to believe that when I got up before 302 people that the voice would sound. I preached 28 minutes on who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. And for 28 minutes, I spoke without a break. With a voice not any louder than that. It was at his church. He had me as the last resort. All the other evangelists wouldn't come. So I came as the last resort. I, I couldn't talk. The gospel, but the thing that I said when he he came in was uh, wanting to be led constantly, and so I can't do this or I can't do that. Uh, that I said, well, what kind of a nut is this? And then the Lord said to me, well, he's just living what you've been preaching. Dale, would you come up and pray and we'll go to eat. Praise the Lord. See, we were together way back in uh, 30 some years ago. It was the late 50s, early 60s. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes, he touched you a while ago. Do you remember that back trouble that he healed just a while ago? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. (laughs) He has a son that's a medical doctor. He was young when we found him. Thank you. Give the wife our greetings. Was she here? Yes. Oh. Hello. Praise the Lord. Thank you. As I see praise, we will go and let us go quickly. Don't talk, eat, pray, rest, and return. Thank you. I'd had no intention of coming to this waiting, and the Lord just laid it on me so very hard. And I'm sure glad I came. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Make us anew into the kinds of servants we ought to be. Lord, take away all of the hardness that's in any of our hearts. And so tenderize us. And so fill us until the world can see Jesus in us. And help us as we go from this place to take Jesus with us. In Jesus' name, amen.
beautiful, beautiful. I'd like to hear that again, even if you don't, uh, if you have another piece, that's fine. Oh, that was good. That, I enjoyed it. And the prayer, oh, it was so good. And the music, thank you. It's kind of, it's kind of fun, you know. Amen. Fun for you all. Yes. And a blessing to us. We'll go all <laughs> afternoon if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
enjoyed it. Let's have more. You have a list. Number eight. Now, if you have a testimony in your heart, just get up and tell us about it. It's overflowing and you get the joy. I tell you, Thomas Mullins was so happy. I, Glory! I tell you, Thomas was so thrilled with this meeting. And, and uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Yes, amen. Yes, we're grateful for this. Thank you, Jesus. I just wanted to be faithful in this testimony. And Lord Jesus, I'm sorry, I should have said it yesterday, but um, I, we drove a long way from Colorado and we were pretty beat. And yesterday morning when I was coming here, I, the Lord witnessed to me that it seemed to me he was saying, let my wife rest. And I came here and heard your message on the hardness of heart. And I was kind of worried or saddened that because she wasn't here. And I went back to our room and I walked in the door and she said, well, I'm writing this song and it's about the heart. And the Lord worked with us and through the day, um, she had assurance of her salvation. He healed our marriage and gave us a great togetherness that we've never experienced before. And I'd also ask that you pray for us and pray for me because I'd like to give my life in Christian service. Oh, oh, we thank you, Jesus, for this precious young man and this vision and this revelation dedication that thou will teach him and lead him and guide him and give that guidance and direction and for the healing of this marriage and encouragement and the song on the heart. We thank you, Lord, for this Mother Day of truth. In Jesus' name, amen. As I said, you go in, a contractor or a builder, he goes in, but he has a blueprint. Uh, we don't have any here. It's unseen. Uh, plenty of wonderful materials, but not anything particularly how it's going to be built and how it's coming. We just wait and trust step at a time, moment by moment, second by second, breath by breath. So it's wonderful that he would be merciful to lead, to guide, to direct, and help us all that we feast and eat and relax and be fed and be inspired, be healed, be lifted uh, to a higher plane of rejoicing 
faithfulness and uh, submission and obedience. Praise the Lord. So we thank him for that. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I wonder if I could have another chair right over there. And uh, Pastor Whittington, will you come up here with us, please? Yeah, thank you, there. Yeah. We're to be with him next Sunday, Sunday morning. <laughs> Good, I just hate for it to stop. I'd like to hear another one. Is that number eight? Now, see, that's what we've been preaching here for eight sessions, seven sessions. I will follow thee. Isn't that significant? Because I've never seen your list. Now, that ought to be so exciting. We could almost, I don't know what. That he would tell me, see that's the first time I've told her any numbers yet. She just said, do you have any guidance? And I said, do you have a list? She said, yes. And here it is, follow, I will follow thee, Jesus. <laughs> just think of it. That's the message. The Holy Spirit alone knew it. And that's the essence. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow. Follow me. Not a religious pattern, not religious things, not religious beauty, and all the beautiful things of religion, but follow me. That's Jesus who died, and the only way we can follow is die. And so many times we work so hard to try to find bypasses so we won't have to die and still follow. So we work all kinds of schemes so we can follow without dying. And it doesn't work. That's why the churches, you know, many times get discouraged. And they need to be encouraged uh, to know that after we're saved, the first one to two seconds after conversion, self must be denied. For the Holy Spirit will say, give Jesus the glory, Christ the praise. And self said, now you hush. You're not called on yet. Don't interrupt this meeting. The evangelist doesn't need anything from you. See, the devil and self will just do a lot of talking like that. And as soon as that happens, the following of Jesus ends. And they go ahead and go home and say, I'm saved and read the Bible and but you see, they missed the leading. I still thought they followed. Failed the first leading of humility, self-denial, and obedience. And that's significant and it's urgent to obey as soon as we're converted, as soon as Jesus forgives us of our sins, immediately give him the praise, him the glory, him the honor, in every way, in every area and aspect. And then we can start following if we will deny self the second, 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 the second. Don't don't miss that one. And deny himself and take up his cross. That is the instrument upon which self is crucified. That's the slaying of this carnal nature, this self will. This thing that's caused our hearts to be so hard and prevents obedience. Because if we're not willing to die, neither will we obey. Only the obedient will die, and only the dying will obey. Following. It all came out of that song. The spiritual laws of following Jesus to be faithful and to do exactly what God says. And not in a radical way, a fanatical way, but as the Holy Spirit directs in our heart as we are like a child, a little child. Not a child, but become as a little child. See, we cannot follow unless we are like 
a little child. Because a child like this does what he pleases. But a child like that, he has to be careful. He's got to be watched. He may strike matches. He may get too close to the fire. He may get too close to the stairway. He's got to be watched all the time. He can't bathe himself. He can't cook for himself. He can't feed himself very well. If he does, he gets all over the floor and himself. A little child's got to be watched all the time. And if you don't, you wish you had. Of course, one little child, just a little guy, he come up and he got a hold of the coffee pot and scalded himself and he will be scarred forever. Couldn't be trusted to cross that junction of carefulness. The mother father was too busy thinking that he knew that that was scalding hot. A little child doesn't know anything. You know the only thing he knows? The only thing he knows about is that he's tired and sleepy and hungry and he knows when mother and father are near. Utter dependence. And the, and the reason we, one reason we do not utterly depend upon him is because of the hardness of heart. Because of a self-will Self isn't denied. So when self isn't denied, we kind of work it out and figure it out and work out the songs and work out the sermons and work out the programs and the song books and what song books we're going to have and what kind of lights we're going to have and where we're going to meet and how we're going to build a church and how we're going to do this and how we're going to... We just wait and let the Holy Spirit lead us. It's utter dependence upon Him. Because he can do as much in any one little place as any big place if he owns and possesses and runs and reigns in this little place with one soul or with two. It's just not in the great crowds alone unless the great crowds are denying self, obeying, and letting him prevail. Uh, but usually the more you get together, the more death has to be experienced because the slightest bit of self will make the arrangements and you'll have conflict or you'll have darkness or you'll have argument or you'll have suspicion or you'll have some kind of analyzation. Because self is analyzing from the time you get up in the morning to the end. Self makes the arrangements. It must be denied in order to follow, which we have just heard played. Follow. Follow Jesus. So following Jesus is what the Word says. And we can sing the greatest songs, have the greatest singers, have the greatest preachers, have the greatest preaching, know all theology, know all about religion and the religions of the world. Uh, but we can know all that and not become as a little child after conversion with self immediately after conversion being denied. Self must be denied as soon as we're converted. That instant that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, says, give God the praise for your salvation. Give God the praise for you have peace. That burden's gone. The burden just lifted out. Somebody just had a burden lifted out then. <laughs> give God the praise. Give Jesus the praise. Uh, the self will say, now you hush. Just hold on. See, this is held back revival. You see, that the reason revival tarries is God can't have his way because the self wants its way and will not die. So therefore, Jesus had to die. So he died on the cross that we might be slain from that which we receive from the fall of Adam that's prevented us from hearing the voice of Jesus being led by the Holy Spirit in the Word of God. Well, that's enough sermon for a long time. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for cleansing him of a hard heart. Hardness it's, of heart. It's taken a long time, but he done it. And I give him all the praise and the glory. Yeah. And I just want to follow him and do his will the rest of my days here on earth. Yeah. Because there's no greater glory. No. There's no yeah. greater honor, and we are unworthy of doing it right. than to follow Jesus. Oh, yes. And do oh, his God. Will. Yes. 
Uh, the Thank self you. is continually busy uh, having its own way, and uh, the longer it has its way, the harder the heart becomes. Uh, when we obey, uh, it, the self and the hardness of heart breaks up like great light up on ice, just breaks it apart. When we obey, and, uh, and we have to die to obey. You see, it takes the death of the inner heart to obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. And just as soon as we obey the leading of the Holy Spirit, God's word, well, then joy comes. And then we have strength. And we can get around. We can walk following him. Uh, joy of the Lord is our strength. And without the joy of the Lord, we do not follow him. We let self and the earth and the carnal nature have prevailed. So the consequence is the world, we get into the world, the world gets into us and we look at it and it takes us in and on into a greater degree of a hardness, uh, a stubbornness of heart. I want to pra praise the Lord and uh, I can testify that what you're saying is true um, from my own experience and I'm thankful I'm thankful that Jesus can that he that the Holy Spirit can teach us yes and that the Lord's power can cleanse us if we deny ourselves that he yes. can cleanse us yes, he very well. that his power is not something like we sometimes look at in the world is big things in in buildings and different things or I don't know um, might in that sort of a way but that it's something that can cleanse me of myself that I can deny myself and that I can be his I'm thankful yes. praise the Lord as we deny self then we begin to become childlike and surrendered and submissive yes Reverend Helm as you were speaking about uh, the importance of just after conversion standing up and giving a word of testimony I felt a little prompting in my heart and I realized that I needed to stand up and give thanks to the Lord. So I want to praise Jesus praise tonight and give him glory yes, and honor yes, 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 for yes. what he's done in my life. <laughs> I need to obey him. Amen. It may have been not just a few minutes ago, but I still need to obey. So oh, I want to be faithful. Yes. This, I guess this is the next obedience, yes. but I want to praise Amen. him right now. Amen. So glory to God. Now that glory to God touched me. So it touched heaven. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. You were obedient. You see, you had to deny self to do that. By denying self, you praised him. And then uh, there came the joy, yes. I'm thankful to God that he has delivered me. I praise God that he's been patient with me. I'm thankful to God that he is doing a great work in my heart. And I'm thankful and I give him the glory and the honor and the praise. We prayed with him a few years ago. Remember when we had that prayer with him? See, he's a very dear, dear person. He's very kind and very shy, very backward. But we're just little by little. And all. Could you hear it in his voice? Yeah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this testimony. We just trust it'll be in the spirit. Yes, thank you. For one thing, I want to thank God for rain. Yes. Because it, thank you. this morning I was at a restaurant and I was sitting there waiting for it to quit raining. And uh, this precious brother that I met yes. in Christ, him and his wife uh, were sitting there waiting for it to quit raining too. But what I want to tell you about is the most compassionate heart that I've ever seen. Wonderful. And it's a kind of a heart I would like to have. That's sweet. Because he was in a wheelchair, oh. and they were seating him at this table, and he told him that uh, it might be better if they move him back there out of the way somewhere and make room for other people. And I got to thinking about that, and uh, I was sitting there waiting for it to quit raining, and he came up, and in his wheelchair, and we had quite a fellowship. Good. And he's paralyzed, well, I think from his neck down 
And a lot of you know him, I'm sure. <laughs> and if he could stand, I would like for him to stand. But he was up there in the balcony, and I would like for him to raise his hands to Jesus. Amen. His name is Mark, and his wife's name is Pam. Yes. That's all I know, but they're from Indiana. Mark and Pam, we're so thankful to have you. Lord, and I got one blessing. I, well, I think I saw a hand, I believe. Yes, I see it come again. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Help and courage and strengthen and Thank you. Thank you for that compassion and appreciation. Yes, uh, Kathleen, she's at my secretary. I, uh, secretary. I want to praise the Lord because I, I asked Jesus to forgive me for my hard heart and I am going on in hope that he is going to continue to cleanse me. Yes. And uh, when you said just a little bit ago that uh, God lifted a burden just right at that moment, yes. he lifted mine. Oh, wonderful. I didn't know. I was sitting here so, so in the state that I didn't know. I couldn't hardly keep my head up. And up I came and my heart started pounding and I could tell it was lifted. It was gone. Oh, good. So I wanted to praise the Lord for that and thank Jesus for it. Praise the Lord. That's your little sister. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's good. Oh, that's a good report. I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit and that's praise good. God for healing. Oh, yes, okay. uh, I've really been looking forward to the waiting. Yes, and right. about three weeks ago, I had a pretty bad flare-up of an affliction that I had. I'm going to say I had it because God healed me. And yes. Thomas Mullins and... A little band of saints from West Palm Beach came to Daytona yeah. to Oasis Christ Fellowship and Pastor Tom knew nothing about it yeah. and was led to pray for me and God healed me. Amen. And I want to praise him because I couldn't be Thank here you. and I'd have missed all this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, there's, Jesus. There's been great victory in Oasis Christ Fellowship in this place. Amen. So thankful for And that. all the people that's here from there. Oh, praise grateful. God for it. Grateful for that. Thank you. Yes, brother. Yesterday, I felt like the Lord called me to go to the altar yes. um, to repent of my, my very hard heart. And uh, the Lord helped you to share and reveal to me how that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately oh, wicked. Oh, Jesus, it is. So oh. I asked the Lord, I asked him, I said, Lord, please take it away from me. Oh, I need it every minute. <laughs> I felt like he did. I really do. I praise oh, the Lord good. for it. I, I said, Jesus, I will claim it right now in your name. <laughs> and so I want to praise the Lord because I, it lifted from me. I cried out to the Lord and I believe you heard my cry. Yeah. I just want to praise the Lord for, for people who pray one for another. Christians who do I want to pray for, uh, praise the Lord for my pastor and his wife yes. who prayed for my wife and me. Yes. And for, for many reasons, for many occasions. So I just want to praise the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Oh, that's a good report. Praise the Lord for a heart that can recognize a condition, a situation. We praise Him for that. Isn't that wonderful? God can work like that. Oh, we give Him the praise. Yes. Brother Helm. Yes. I'd like to uh, say a few things in my testimony. As I, what I see going on here in the last three days is what David said. As long as I live, I'm going to tell the next generation what God has done for me. And that's what you've been doing, Brother Helm, for years. I don't know how many. Fifty-seven and a half years. Okay, and I'm glad you don't have a blueprint. Oh, don't have any. I'm glad you don't have, because we know this is from the Lord. Oh, we're in debt to the Jesus. <laughs> like David said, I'm going to tell the next generation what the Lord has done for me. Amen. Amen. Thank well, you. I, I'd like to say that uh, we need to trust the Lord. Continually. Not have a hard heart. Continually. I almost did. I have in some ways. But I'd like for my wife to stand up. Yes. We have no children of our own. And for a long time we prayed and prayed for children. Yes. 
but we didn't get any. For some reason, God didn't see fit to bless us with children. Yes. But later on, He gave us a family. Wonderful. We got two of our sister, our daughters right here. Amen. Stand up, please. Mary Beth. Amen. This is two of our daughters. Wonderful. Thank you. We have a son in Fort Wayne. Yes. We have one in Nigeria. Yes. And that's the one I'd like to tell you about. He was our firstborn. Yes. I know it was the Lord's leading because we uh, had several water at, in Indiana. We couldn't do our laundry at home. It was dark. So we did our laundry at the laundromat. We always went in on a Saturday morning. And we had our clothes ready to go. We were remodeling our house. And all we had left to do yet was to paint the windows and the doors woodwork. And I told my wife, I said, now why don't we just do that this morning? This afternoon we'll do our laundry. When we get home and paint will be dry, we can hang the curtains for over Sunday. While we was at the laundromat, we met this young man from Nigeria. And I seen he was very lonely. We asked him to go home with us for lunch, for supper really. He accepted. And he poured his heart out to us. And we had a good fellowship, but he told us later that he knew when we asked him to come home with us, it wasn't because we was expecting him to come, it was because we loved him, because our house was torn up, it wasn't in order. Well, anyway, he was going to college in Rensselaer, St. Joe College, and he wanted to be a lab technician in a hospital. They only give three years for that, and the fourth year is supposed to be an internship in a hospital. He graduated from St. Joe. We tried to get him in a hospital we called all over Illinois and Indiana and part of Michigan. Went to see some of the big hospitals in Chicago with no success because they would have like 200 applications, only room for eight people. Well, you know who's left out. The Americans get the first chance. So, he had a year to spend here without going to school. He was over here on a school visa, on a, yeah, school visa. They jerked his visa for him. It was going to send him home. Because you've been graduated from St. Joe, we got, or I got a record, record here that you have. And I had to go to Chicago with him. She's a lawyer. And we talked to him for an hour or more before we convinced him that Paul was not through school yet. He needed a year's internship in the hospital. We prayed for him. And we prayed. And we prayed. Open a hospital for this young man or, or they'll send him back without his education. Well, we didn't have any luck. And one day I said, we're praying wrong. So we changed our prayer from God help Paul to find a hospital 
to uh, help Paul to find what you want him to be. Now you're on the track. It wasn't two weeks till he came home and he asked me if he could get his master's degree and in, in, uh, help me out. Administration. So he got to go to school right away. Didn't have to wait for a whole year. Uh, he got his master's. In administration, he is now an assistant administrator of a hospital in Nigeria. Isn't that precious? He's got a job for Jesus, helping people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He was at our little Christ Fellowship last Sunday, and we had such a great time. I've never seen him before, and the meeting was on. He just went over to the piano, and he began to sing to us, oh, and just play. Oh, it was something. It was something how God helped him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give us wisdom and knowledge. You know, lots of times we need wisdom to know what to say and what not to say and how to do it and how to proceed. And we praise the Lord for it. Now, there's two people still standing here now. There's one, two, three, four. There's 400 people who want to talk now. <laughs> uh, I say one, two. Okay. I give, give Jesus the praise. Just lift up your voice. Praise. He's cleaning my heart, and I just know He is, and I just praise I the Lord it. for it. I just praise oh. the Lord for it. I just oh, that it. touches me, honey. I just thank you, Jesus. I just praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It was so hard for me to stand up. It was so hard when you were talking about crucifying the inner self. I just yes. didn't want to do it. I couldn't yeah, I do it. it. But the Lord just helped me do it. Yes, he just helped he me stand up. And I just praise That's the Lord. So I just good. give him all the glory and honor and oh, praise. Jesus. Me, praise, praise, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. See, that was in the spirit. Once in the spirit, it brings us up. Once in the flesh, it takes us down. Yes. I'm thankful that there remains there for rest. I have had such wonderful rest in these meetings, oh, and I'm God. thankful. Oh, oh, that touched my heart, daughter. Oh, that was rest, such joy. Hallelujah. Reverend Helm, Yes. God helped my heart so much last night. He did a healing within me. I didn't even know I needed healing. I was in such a place, I was crying out, and I just kept crying. And I wasn't getting anywhere. So I started searching out. I wanted to look. I wanted to see where Georgine was. I said, I've got to get down and pray with Georgine. So I found her and I came down and I grabbed her and we prayed. And I told her what was on my heart. And it was for past pains where I had been pushed away in my childhood. Yes, yes, you were. Past pains. You went through lots. And, and I could feel, in her prayer, I could feel God leading. So I came back up here, and I was still in such a place. And I kept praying, Lord, I don't understand it all. Just be patient with me. I know I should feel the victory. Just be patient with me. I'm just going to keep oh, trusting. Wait, I'm going to keep you, trusting. You long so when the three gentlemen got around the piano and sang, I lifted my hand, and I had the victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. I had the victory. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the victory. Then we went back. We were staying on a bus, and I was reviewing with a couple that stayed on the bus with us. And I told her what happened. And she said, as the three gentlemen were around the piano, and she saw my hand raised, she said she could imagine Jesus coming up the steps and hugging me. Oh, and I just yes. want to praise the Lord for yes. his love, that oh, yes. he loves me. Yes. Oh, that is so precious. Thank you. when Jesus puts it on my heart to praise him I don't know any other way except through the gifts that he gives right 
Lord, I praise you. I've been chosen for the purpose that the gardener had in mind. May I bear the fruit that you intended as a branch extending from the vine. Pruning must be done for it's the season. My heart desires so much more, oh Lord. I know that in your perfect timing, I'll bear fruit as I wait upon the Lord. Dead to me, it's all I want to be, a living sacrifice unto thee, and as the world looks on, all that they will see is you, living here in me. I praise you. You're my foundation. You are the rock on which the builder builds. Guide me, Lord, in all truth and wisdom. May I always know your perfect will. Place in me the strength and power And the love that only you can give May I build with gold and silver Dead to me A life in which you live Dead to me, it's all I want to be, a living sacrifice unto thee. And as the world looks on, all that they will see is you living here in me. Sorry that I'm not dressed in a suit coat. I've been dressed in every session. And then I was in a room today and I was watching on television. And there's nothing greater than a spontaneous praise yes. to the Lord. Glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I sat in the room as long as I could sit. And then I just moved. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> oh, it's so good. But Jesus is so precious, so precious. and Hallelujah. I kept hearing Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. the wonderful word about a hardened heart and how it needs to be shattered, yes, needs Jesus. to be softened. And this song came to mind. Cleansed out. If there be encouragement. From unity with Christ If there be comfort from His love If there be fellowship With the Spirit of the Lord Compassion and tenderness Then give it all Give it all for Jesus You know He gave it all for you Take up the cross and walk with Jesus Well, it's the least that you could do 
Don't be doing anything out of selfish ambition. Do nothing out of vain conceit. Consider others better than yourselves. Do it in Christ's humility. Give it all, give it all for Jesus. You know He gave it all for you. Take up the cross and walk with Jesus. Well, it's the least that you could do. Though He was in very nature God, He didn't consider equality with the Father to be grasped. He made Himself nothing, became a servant of God, was obedient to death. Oh, then the Father raised Him up Above all things and gave him the name above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord, he's the King of Kings. And give it all, give it all for Jesus. You know He gave it all for you. Take up the cross and walk with Jesus. Well, it's the best, best that you could do. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. You, you live in Indianapolis? Mm-hmm. I was there. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Dr. Dyer, was he able to come? Is he here? Well, he's in his room. Yeah. His wife's here. His wife's here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the song. The gifts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Wasn't that fresh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're grateful indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us stand, please. Brother John McCann, would you come and pray? I was going to have you lead singing. The Lord said, pray. Oh, that warm my heart. Put a little light over there. Shall we pray? God, our Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to thank You and praise You for victory, for mercy, for the blood that will never lose its power. We thank You for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank You, Lord God, that Your precious Spirit is able to convince us of sin of righteousness and of judgment. I thank You for it. I count upon it. I thank You, O God, that You are working a work in our hearts. You are working, O Lord, a work for the Kingdom of God. We thank You that Your Kingdom is coming. Oh, tell you the story. I thank You for the precious leadership of Thy Spirit, for the anointing of God. I thank You for the Kingdom of God that is within us. I thank You, Lord Jesus, that Your promise is that You are with us to the end of the world. I praise Your name. I bless the holy name of Jesus, Son of God, ever near the Christian side. I pray Thee, Father, that You would help us, 
Oh Lord, in these moments, uh, Father, to know that it is a divine moment. I pray, O oh God, that we would know that the kingdom of God has come. I pray Thee, Father, that we would know that we have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Uh, I pray, O oh God, that You would open up our hearts, uh, the wellspring of our minds. Uh, I pray Thee, Father, for the work of God, for the fire of God, uh, for the touch of God, uh, for the divine work of God. Uh, in our souls. I pray Thee, O God, for the Master's touch. I pray, O God, for the uprooting, O Lord, of that nature that keeps the work of God hindered. I pray Thee, Father, that You would be able to cleanse and sanctify the heart of every one of us, O Lord, to the extent that would please Thee, O Lord. For You said that we should walk in perfection. And I pray Thee, Father, for that work of God that is beyond our minds, beyond our ability, beyond all that man can ask or think. I am trusting and believing Thee for it. Encourage every heart, I pray Thee, O, to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Heal every body that You want to heal, O Lord. Encourage every soul. Lift up every saint of God. I pray for Reverend and Mrs. Helm, Lord, as they are trying to carry the torch, the banner, the mantle of God in this time. I pray Thee, Father, for unusual strength and anointing and ability and encouragement and strength. I speak to the powers of darkness that hinder. Oh, Lord, I speak to them in Your precious name. I pray, oh God, a wall of protection round about them. Lift him up. Encourage them hearts. I pray Thee, Lord, that You would come, uh, Lord, with Your heavenly hosts uh, as You came there uh, in the wilderness, Lord. Uh, you, uh, you were ministered to by the heavenly beings. And I pray for, for this help of God to these servants. Uh, let help and strength come every soul to be fed the will of God to be known and done. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this prayer. Ruth Ann, will you uh, continue on? Thank you, John. Jesus, I'm thankful you're real. I'm thankful you're real in my heart today. Thankful my God rings. Jesus, I'm thankful you rang today. <laughs> oh, God, I bless your holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Oh, Jesus, I bless your name today. I praise you, Jesus. I praise the matchless name of Jesus. Oh, God, you're great, and you're great, you're great, and greatly to be praised. Oh, Jesus, I praise you today. I praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, glory. Glory, glory to his name. Oh, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed heart. be the name of the Lord. Woo. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. I have found him who my soul so long hath craved. Jesus satisfies my longing. By his blood I now am saved. Oh, God, I want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so full and free. Oh, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I'm so thankful, Jesus, we can come to you and you can make us clean. Oh, God, we may be leprous in our hearts, but Jesus, like the man with leprosy, he said, Jesus, will you make me clean? And Jesus said, I will make you clean. Yeah, oh, praise God, you clean. will make us clean. Oh, God, you will make our hearts clean. Oh, God, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Oh, God, what a privilege. What an honor to pray. Oh, God. I'm thankful for the prayer closet. Oh, God, I'm so thankful for the prayer closet. Oh, Jesus, I'm so thankful. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Oh, God, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for Brother Helm. Oh, God, we have a man of God in Parisburg today because of him. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. Oh, God, thank you for what you've done in my heart. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, thank you for saving me it's March 24th, 1987. Oh, Jesus, what these people do, what 
you've done for my husband and I. I took the heart and the out. The world is out. The heart. The love of the world out. Oh, the coldness Jesus, it's out. Been so the lukewarmness out of her heart. Oh, thank Set her you, on Jesus. fire so she can pray thank every morning. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh thank two you, years Jesus. Five o'clock and bomb oh, God, what a, to oh, God, what a privilege to pray. Oh, God, what a privilege to know that by God's grace you can pray through every day. Oh, you can have the victory every day. Oh, you can have the light of Jesus in your heart every day. Oh, God, I praise you. I praise you. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, we don't have to be defeated. Oh, God, we don't have to be defeated. Oh, we can live in victory circle. Oh, we can praise God in all things. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. True. Oh, precious is that flow is that flow makes that me makes white, white as snow. snow. No other fault I know. Nothing, nothing, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I knew Brother Elm was going to call on me to pray. <laughs> I knew he was going to call on me. Oh, Jesus, you were working with me about praying. I thank you. Yeah, you, you got I it ready, you. Lord. I, I didn't you. know I it for you. just a few seconds before I called on I love I you, Jesus. Her. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, she already knew, Jesus, you were going to have me to call on her. A thousand people in this room, and she could tell it in her heart. Hallelujah. Been getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and praying and praying with her husband till the fire falls. Wonderful. For months and months. Is this the first... Woo! I know you are. Glory to God. Bombarding heaven to the fall of the glory of God yes, falls down yes, your soul. Yes, oh, Brother Helm, these last three years, it's been a little bit of heaven. It's been a little bit of heaven since Jesus came into my heart. I mean, really came into my heart. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I'm glad I'm saved. Oh, go away. Go away. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And I am so thankful for my pastor. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you how thankful I am for this man. He's helped David and I so much. I know it. Oh, I'm so Praise precious. We're just happy. Amen. We're Praise happy. God. Amen. We're Amen. on a great Amen. adventure. We're getting ready for a great awakening by God's yes, grace. Yes, yes, yes. You're already on the way. It's, almost, it's there. Yes. Hallelujah. I didn't know prayer could be so great. Oh, it's I didn't great. know it could be so great. What's oh, great? I tell you, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It's oh, yeah. Great. We've been trying to get people to do it for yes, years. Sir. Get up. There you are, praying and bombarding heaven. Give, give David the microphone. Let him pray for a minute. Oh, Jesus, we thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your love. Oh, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be adored. Oh, let all that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye people. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for making me whole. We worship you. We glorify you. We honor you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Thank you, Lord, for caring for us, for watching over us. Thank you for your long suffering. Thank you, Jesus, for your stubborn love. Thank you, Jesus, for your stubborn love that never lets go of us. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this word we've heard here today on the heart this, this, uh, these stations on the hardness of the heart. Oh, we thank you that there is a remedy. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, that there's a remedy for the hardness of the heart. Lord, as we're reviewing this scripture in Job, it says, uh, happy is the man, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Despise, therefore, despise not the chastening of the Almighty. Thank you, Lord, that's for the correction we've had Be here. Bad. Oh, One God, word. thank you for the One correction. Word. Thank you for the chastening. Word, oh, God, we're Be happy. Bad. We're happy, oh, God, oh, Lord, for the correction. 
Jesus, we're happy for the correction. We're happy for the chastening. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, help us, Lord, not just to be happy in the singing, but help us to be happy when the conviction hits our hearts. Oh, God, help us to be happy when the conviction hits the soul. Oh, God, help us to be happy when we don't feel so good in our heart. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus, that we don't always have to feel good. Oh, thank you, Jesus, we don't have to go over the way we feel. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that we can go over the faith, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus, we can go over your faith. Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh, Jesus, thank you for delivering us. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. Oh, thank you for delivering me. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you, Jesus, for breaking the chains. Thank you, Jesus, for breaking the bonds. Oh, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you glory. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Praise your holy name. Oh, praise your holy name. Oh, Jesus, we worship you today. We honor you today. We magnify you today. Oh, we magnify you. We magnify you. Oh, Jesus, it's wonderful to walk with you. Oh, Jesus, it's a great way. Oh, it's a great way. Oh, it's a great way. Thank you, Jesus, we can have the victory every day. Oh, thank you, we can walk with you every day. Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh, Jesus, it's great, 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 it's great. Oh, God, it's great. Oh, God, it's great. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, it's great. It's great, Jesus. Oh, God, it's greater than words can tell. Oh, Jesus, it's a marvelous way. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you for this refreshing. Praise the Lord. I tell you, when a man and his wife gets up at 5 in the morning or earlier and prays till the glory falls for three years, I tell you, it is a refreshing. It is a joy. Hallelujah. Oh, what streams break out in the desert. Praise God, the light of the world is Jesus. Amen. Brother Ham, we found home. David Amen. and I found home Amen. every morning in the prayer closet. Amen. We found our home. We found our okay. stone. If every couple could do it, it would be so great. We Somebody found would come our down. home. The communities would be changed. We found a haven God would friends. change homes Amen. and lives and churches by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's home. It's a home place. It's a home place. You may be seated. We've got a leading now, the Holy Spirit. If we keep, I uh, want to be sure it's, uh, yes, help us to be in the Spirit, Jesus, yes. Brother Ham, last night when Roger, Brother Roger stood up and said, he just asked us to pray for him because of his heart. My heart's beating so hard right now. When this sweet lady was praying here, the Lord showed me the wall around my heart was like the wall of Jericho. He showed me, and we walked around it. And he said, look at the wall. And I was looking at the wall, and it was solid. And we got around to this one point, and there was a crack in the wall. And he showed me, he says, I made that crack, and that's where I'm going to start ripping you down. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Breaking you up. Glory Praise to God. Praise the Lord. Breaking you up. Hallelujah. Now, John Burrow is to sing number five on his list. I don't know him, uh, but he's to sing. And after he sings, we'll see how Jesus leads from then on. Daniel may have something on his heart. I will just trust, you know. Is John ready? Wonderful. Number five on the list. Amen. Just think what a prayer meeting, what a prayer session. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we'd resist the devil and get to victory? Everyone, you see, it would change everything. 
It would change everything. Oh, oh, what wonders. See, they have their honeymoon. It started when they begin to die out and pray clear through, make restitution. You ought to have seen the letter they wrote me. Oh, I tell you, they wrote letters that, oh, we failed here, we failed here, we didn't know what we ought to do here, we didn't, oh, we failed here, we failed here. And now they're ready to start praying. You can't get your prayers through until you get everything clear on earth. If you've talked about anybody, your prayers don't get higher than that. If you've found fault with anyone, your prayers don't get higher than that. If you've criticized anyone, your prayers don't get higher than that until you make restitution. If you've had a wrong thought about anybody, you said, well, you haven't treated me right. As long as it's in there, your prayers will get higher than your head and your mouth until you say, I'm sorry. I was not of the Lord. It was of the devil. I need to get that out of me. See, when they got all the restitutions made and they began to pray, then the glory began to fall and the power fell so wonderfully. See, it's been day after day and month after month now for two to three years. Uh, I, wouldn't this be wonderful if we could encourage everyone, really, on their own, to do it? Not because we press them to do it or ask them to do it. Uh, you know, we can make requests, but if people do it on their own, it's so much better. Uh, and then the glory of God will fill the camp, the home. What will children come out of when they come out of a place like that? What will happen to children that come out of light like that? Well, there'll be lights wherever they are. Oh, there'll be lights to see, uh, get all the darkness out of us, all the hellish things out of us, the carnal things, the hardened things out of us, through the blood of Jesus, the power of God. But first, make restitution. We've got to ask everyone forgiveness where we have talked about them, found fault against them, murmured against them. We've got to do The prayers won't go through. That's why you, that part of the prayers don't go through. That's one reason. Of course, the love of the world is another. Disobedience is another. Having wrong motives is another. Wrong attitudes is another. Oh, there's a multitude of things that keeps our prayer from getting to glory. But, oh, you see, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. When everything's clear, God answers. Yeah. Well, he just healed a back trouble here today. Look, what he healed someone's neck. He healed somebody's neck. Yeah, heal this one here. Heal somebody's neck right there. Oh, the wonderful things he's done. He's saved, he's sanctified. One got saved out there in the hall. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Well, I better get stopped and let John sing. See, I don't know him, but God does. Praise the Lord. Amen. <sighs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Number five on the John list. They're from Ashburn, North Carolina. We don't know what the uh, title of the song is, but I trust that the truth of it will get inside.